Hello everybody, my name is Rocket and you're watching Rocket in Vermont. This weekend I've teamed up with Eat Vermont to explain to you how maple syrup is made right here in the beautiful Green Mountain State. The first thing you need to know about maple syrup is that it comes from maple sap, which is basically the lifeblood of a tree. In the spring, the warming temperature creates pressure, which causes the maple sap to run underneath the bark. And it is there that we tap into the trees and just siphon off a little bit. Not so much to hurt the tree, just enough for us to have. And we bring all that sap together, which is naturally very lightly sweet. And we bring it to the sugar shack, the sugar house, in order to boil it down and make maple syrup. Now all the sap comes in from the sugar bush and it comes to a place like this. These are holding tanks where the sap is held in bulk before it goes to the reverse osmosis and then to the evaporator. This system of trees that we pull all this maple sap from is called a sugar bush, which for a long time was really confusing to me because I was looking for a bush, maybe made of sugar, and it's not that at all. It's actually a stand of maple trees that we tap in order to collect all of this sap. That is what a sugar bush is. This crazy looking machine behind me is called reverse osmosis. I'll tell you about it outside. A reverse osmosis is a relatively new innovation to the world of maple sugaring. What it is, is it takes the sap and it reduces the amount of water in it, which makes it concentrate, which is much, much sweeter. And it's that concentrate that then gets boiled into maple syrup. The benefit of a reverse osmosis is that it is way more efficient to boil this down. You're getting rid of so much water at the beginning that you have less water to get rid of by the time that you're boiling. Does that make sense? This is the sugar shack. Shack is a loose term, right? I mean, what's a shack? But that's the traditional way that we Vermonters call the place where the maple sap gets boiled into syrup. Behind me, you'll see the stainless steel evaporator. That's where the sap gets boiled down all the way into sweet maple syrup. Now, one thing you need to know about making syrup is that there is a rule of 40. For one single gallon of maple syrup, it takes at least 40 gallons of sap to boil down into this beautiful product. The other rule of 40 is that during the spring, the temperature needs to rise above 40 degrees on any given day for the sap to run. Now listen, there are a lot of maple products. Ketchup, candy, hot sauce, sugar, <laughs> and many, many more maple products. All of these products are made with the same beautiful, base, pure Vermont maple syrup. <laughs> now, one thing that I really love about maple syrup, it's magical to me, is that the sap itself is coming out of the land and into the trees. So when you eat maple syrup, you are consuming Vermont land itself. How magical is that? That's it, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned a little bit about maple syrup. If you want to come to a sugar shack yourself and learn the sweet secrets of making maple syrup, visit vermontmaple.org. There are dozens of sugar shacks around the state where you can come and visit yourself. Not only is it a family fun way to spend your afternoon, but it is also a beautiful way to connect to the land and understand how hard sugar makers work to feed all of us. My name's Rocket, you're watching Rocket in Vermont, and I will see you in the next video.